I just had an apparition at my craft desk. It was really scary. It was real. And I guess it was because today is day 13 of Defemorember. I'm a little bit afraid, but I guess it's like, you know, this same stuff with Friday the 13th. Do you know those Fridays in the year that always are really crazy days? You know, those black cats are coming from the left and that stuff. And I guess it's such a day today as well. Perhaps the universe doesn't want me to say, Hi, it's day 13 of Defemorembra, your daily ephemera inspiration in December. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> But it is day 13 and this Defem December and this December daily series is still a collaboration with my dear friend Barbara at 49 Dragonflies, of course. And we are creating a new ephemera for our junk journal today using our Defemoramba prompt list. So let's do that. Today's prompt is hidden below some really weird stuff. It looks a little bit like I haven't reorganized and cleaned my desk. It's not so aesthetic today, but <laughs> we are going to need all this stuff for today's project. I'm a little bit afraid and I'm really excited. <laughs> today's prompt is acetate and banner. And in our paper bag, we are going to find, as always the animal that we can use today and we are going to find the international snack the animal that we can use today is the seahorse and i've just said can but we will use it <laughs> of course uh, you know it's optional to use these animals um, these cards are available as a freebie. It's linked down below this video and, of course, below all of the other Defemoramba videos. You can also find the prompt list as a free download linked below the video. And the international snack that says now and later pineapple, six long-lasting pieces, comes from Mexico. That is really exciting. Um, I don't know if we will have drying time today. You know, I've used the snacks uh, to, you know, um, break my impatience a little bit <laughs> while I had things that have to dry. I don't know if we will have that today, but uh, I'm hoping that because it says six long lasting pieces, perhaps that's against or for several different uh, body reactions that I have at the moment. <laughs> so let's see. There are actually two really lovely women in this world who have inspired today's video. Heidi McDonald, hi Heidi, she's a viewer of my channel, has left a comment below one of my past videos and she has directed me to the YouTube channel of Marion Amberson. And Marion actually has really cool videos about embossing and embossing techniques with embossing powders. I will link Marion's channel down below for you so that you can check that out and please go there and check it out. It is really, really cool what she is doing there. And Heidi has told me in the comment that perhaps Marion's techniques are interesting for me and for my own projects. And yes, Heidi, they were really interesting. And what I've experienced with trying that out, what's, what Marion has showed in her videos, crazy, just crazy. <laughs> so I would like to share this technique with you that I have learned from Marion. And um, for that, I have some embossing powders and glazes here on my desk. <clears throat> Marion has only used embossing powders but I will mix that up with embossing glaze today as well because I have a really special effect in my mind that I want to reach with uh, today's project. So I have, I'm so sorry, I have these three embo uh, embossing powders here, white, vintage pearl and gold. And I also have these both glazes in the colors speckled egg and uncharted mariner. Because we have the seahorse today, 
as our animal that we want to use. I want to create something like an ocean and sandy look to my project. Um, so I have chosen these colors, but of course you can also do that with any other colors that you want. And the first thing that we are going to need is some baking paper. This is just some regular baking paper that I have folded in half so that we get this little folder here. And then it is also really helpful to have a brayer. So I'm just taking my embossing powder and I'm throwing that here directly to my baking paper. I'm using a little bit more of this gold because that comes out really interesting in the end. And for this ocean feeling, I'm putting these both blues, um, Speckled Egg and Uncharted Mariner. <clears throat> And then we are going to close this really carefully. You don't want to make a mess on your table like this. And then I'm taking my brayer ready to go, placing that here so that nothing can fly away. And then I'm taking my heat gun. And now I have to explain it before I start this thing, because when I started, you can't hear anything anymore because it's so loud. So I'm starting here, melting the powder. And when I see through the baking paper, you can see that relatively good, that it starts to melt. And I'm going over that with my brayer in different directions, just like this, until I can see that everything is melted. So let's do that. Okay, so when everything is melted, it looks like this. And now we have to let that cool down for a few seconds. And then we can just take this off. And please don't be disappointed. This looks not so crazy, bam, you know. <laughs> but we will now do something that turns it into a really cool piece that looks like the ocean. And because of the sand that is laying at the beach, I want to include some Freight Burlap Distress Embossing Powder as well. This is this really, you know, gritty and rough embossing powder. And I'm hoping that I get this uh, sandy feeling later to my project as well. So I have this at hand while I'm doing the next step. I'm opening that up so that I just can throw it onto my project. And now... I will take my heat gun again and I will heat this up again and that's, that will bring some really cool holes and patterns into this design and I can also blow the powder or this, actually it's not a powder anymore, yeah, this stuff here, I can blow that into the directions that I want it to have and I can create really cool effects with that. So if you want to try that out, then please play around a little bit and um, try different things. Don't only hold the heat gun like this, but also like this or like this. You will see that in the video uh, in a second, how I'm doing that. And then you can get really cool results. And when I have remelted this, I will add some of this stuff to create this sandy look.
this is such a satisfying process. <laughs> you can play around as long as you want, of course. The longer you play around and the longer you heat this up, of course, the more the colors would mix. <clears throat> but they don't mix totally, as you can see. We can still see the single colors in this pattern. This thing with the sand worked relatively well, I would say. I mean, with this other embossing powder. I can't touch it yet because it's not cold yet. But uh, this looks really gritty. And that's exactly what I wanted to have. The rest is shiny, as you can see. Really cool. That looks really, really cool like water. And I'm absolutely in love with all of these waves that you can create here. Absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> okay, so it's a few minutes later and now I can touch it and I can feel it's totally cold. So now you can go in here with this spatula or alternatively you could use a really thin knife and you can just peel this off. And this is, I don't know what's more satisfying, to, to melt the powder or... <laughs> <laughs> to do this step but this is just so cool isn't this just great this looks so so cool and if you put that to a black background for example you can see those details way better than on the baking paper and of course depending on the colors that you have used um, you can use a contrasting paper in the background. So here with the white, of course, black for the background would be really great. And <laughs> I would quickly like to um, tell you about my apparition that I had. When I tried this out for the first time, uh, I have used exactly these colors, but without thinking about this ocean theme. And then I thought, when I saw my result, I thought, oh my goodness, that looks so cool. I want to put that into Defemorembra so that you all can see it as well. And then I thought, ocean. And then I thought, seahorse. If this doesn't match each other, then I, I can't help you. I mean, look at that. Isn't that just crazy? That looks so cool. And then, <laughs> while I had my first piece, my, my prototype, on my desk, I thought I want to try out different things with this material. And I was playing around. I had my um, embossing machine with some embossing folders there. I've tried to emboss this stuff and die cut it and so on. And while I was doing that, my original piece was changing of course because when you heat that up then um and remelt the powder then it changes a lot and suddenly there was the apparition suddenly i had this thing on my desk and i was like sorry but what the heck i mean <laughs> can you see the seahorse here here's the nose this little thing here. If there was an eye on my design, it would be here. And you can see also these little things that are not so uh, shown here in this uh, picture of the seahorse. But then his belly goes like this and here the tail is like this. Or perhaps you can also see it like this in the other direction. But this is definitely a seahorse, isn't it? And while I was doing that, I thought, okay, which is the prompt where we have the seahorse. And I've realized that it is the next video that I have to record. So the seahorse was actually the next thing that I had to do for Defemoremba. So I thought, if not now, this technique, the seahorse and this whole stuff, then never. So <laughs> that was the reason why I told you that in the beginning with my apparition. And this is such a cool thing. This those things only happen with junk journaling. I mean, tell me a second thing in this world where that happens. <laughs> okay, so we will take that and put that here. And for my 
banner that I want to create on my junk journal page, I want to use this seahorse. I've already cut that out. This comes from my Ocean Eyes journal backgrounds that you can find in my Etsy shop. Ding dong! <laughs> it's time for the next goodie. You can get my Ocean Eyes journal backgrounds with 50% off now in my Etsy shop. Just use this code to get the discount. The link to my shop is down below in the description box. Enjoy! And I've just cut that out from one of those pages and I want to combine that with this cool background here. I have chosen this double spread here in the journal that Barbara has created for me. And first of all, I want to make the background a little bit more calm because look at that. That's crazy. That is not enough contrast. This is way too whimsical, too loud for this thing. And um, I want to try something new today because um, so the first things will not be new, but <laughs> perhaps uh, what am I doing with this acrylic block here? Sorry. I want to use some pumice stone oxide spray first um, and spritz a little bit here and there. Like this. And then, uh, while this is still wet, I'm adding some hickory smoke, also oxide spray. And while this is still wet, I'm taking Black Suit Distress Oxide Reinker and my acrylic block. <laughs> And then I'm taking just a tiny little bit of this and some water. Also only a tiny little bit. I'm letting that run over this thing a little bit and then I want to throw it to my page. And while this is still wet, I want to add something that I have new and that is this Distress Mica Stain um, and I have them new and I'm so in love with them. I have the feeling that I've missed a whole chapter in my life <laughs> because yeah, I have heard about them but I never bought them and actually I don't know why because they they are just so gorgeous and I thought that could match this shiny look of the embossing uh, of the uh, embossing uh, powder really well so I'm trying to get that here and there like this I want to have some little drops and that stuff And I want to have this, that it, it mixes up a little bit, like that. And then I will dry that with my heat gun. When it's dry, it looks like this. And I don't know if you can see that in the camera, but the mica stain leaves this really gorgeous stuff here. This little glittery, like, oh, this, this is just gorgeous. I'm just trying to see if the contrast is enough but I guess that it could be a little bit darker um, I have the feeling that this color in the background is not dark enough Okay, so here we go. This is ooh, yeah. This is dry now, and <laughs> this is what I wanted to have. Yeah, that is just great. Okay, so and now my plan is to break this 
into two pieces. Like this. And one of those pieces I want to put here to this left page and the other one somewhere here. And I'm just thinking Barbara has the word breath here. So perhaps we can include that in some way. But then, I mean, you know, that you can read it through one of these holes, but then this would be... You know, that is not so sturdy then. I will just take something, um, but what? To glue that to the other page to make this a little bit bigger here. So, mm. perhaps just this card and there's a really nice butterfly on the other side of this piece of the fabric there but <laughs> I have to cover him up sorry Barbara but otherwise I can't make this work but I will do it uh, like this I will just glue this down so that I can get the right position and then I will glue the card to the other page and then just um, attach that here I think that is easier So um, I want to let this dry really completely. I mean, the page from here, I can feel that, is a little, tiny little bit wet um, because of the glue. And I want to let that dry completely. Here also, it's a little bit wet. Um, so I think it's time for our international snack now that today comes from Mexico. Here we go. Now and later from Mexico with pineapple. I'm really, really excited. I actually really love pineapples. So here are these uh, little thingies inside in a separate package. Looks like this. Obviously relatively sticky. <laughs> medium hard what is that I can taste the pineapple relatively good it's really I mean I guess there's no real pineapple in it it's like this pineapple flavor I guess it's really relatively intensive but it's like um a pineapple that is not fully ripe. It's really sour and sweet at the same time. But I really like that. It's it's good. It's really good. I was a little bit confused because pineapple, I thought it has to be perhaps a little bit more sweet. But you know, I don't like such crazy sweet things. So that's actually really good. So I would say mm, this is compared to the other snacks 8 out of 10. So this is completely dry now and now I want to add some splatters around here to break the background a little bit. I'm using speckled egg distress paint and also weathered wood distress paint. These I think match really well with the background and the rest. I'm adding some water. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, that looks fantastic. So 
So when this is dry, we can decide for the position and the size of the banner that we want to create today. I mean, the prompt list says we shall create one. <laughs> and I have something in my mind uh, that I would like to do. I want to make a banner that has um, two special things. On the one hand, I want to make something that has more than one layer so that it looks really interesting. <clears throat> and on the other hand, I want to make something where you can look through. I have this piece. Uh, this is actually the leftover from my German video. As you can see, I have already punched out a half circle here. Uh, and that has to do with my idea. <laughs> we can perhaps add a little bit more interest to those layers. This color, yeah, that fits actually really well. So I will put that here. And now I will sew over the top here. <sighs> I have the feeling we need some blue here. Yeah, that makes it a little bit more harmonious. And I think I want to sew a little bit here as well to connect these pieces and um, that this is not too flimsy and that stuff. Just like this. And then I'm going to take my punch and I want to punch through all of the layers now. So I'm trying to line that up now because I already have this half circle and then I'm just punching the rest out. And now... The cool thing about this is um, that we later on <laughs> can see more of the background with this little hole and this makes something like a connection to this piece here. Um, the prompt list says that we also shall use some acetate and I have some acetate here and I have a plan <laughs> with that. So this is just a packaging from, I guess, a stamp set or something like that. This is already uh, double layered. So, you know, this is some kind of a plastic bag so that you have two layers here. And then it's really helpful to have a circle in the same size like we've punched out from the banner. So I'm just taking one of those. And I'm placing that here so that I can now cut this a little bit bigger than the circle is. Like this. And then I will just go around to make it into a circle. But we have approximately um, half of a centimeter. frame around here so that the, the acetate is a little bit bigger. Uh, just like this. And I have two layers here of course now in the same size because that was this package and we have automatically two layers but if you don't have such an acetate you can just um, cut out two pieces that are the same size and a little bit bigger than the circle or what you have punched out here. And now I want to fill this up with something that Barbara also has sent in this little bag here, <laughs> this little turtle there. And look what she has written here, seagrass from the Red Sea. Ooh. She has brought that from her holiday and um, then she has sent some of that to me and this is just so special and so cool. So I will... Um, take that out and I have to cut that a little bit smaller to make it fit into the size of this acetate. How can I do that? <laughs> oh, goodness. So because this is really long but it looks like this. Really cool. So salty. And um, now I will cut that a little bit smaller and then I will put that into, or on top of one of these layers of the acetate that you nearly can't 
see because <laughs> it's transparent. And for this, of course, you can use anything, yeah? You can use little things that you've brought from the holiday. You can use um, sand, for example. That would be really cool if you have collected some sand on the at the beach. Um, but I thought this would be the perfect place for this. I will take the second acetate and I will put that here on top. And then I will put that aside for a moment because we need another thing for this thing here. And I think, shall we make that out of this paper bag? Why not? I'm taking my punch and then I'm... Oh, that doesn't work. Oh, no. Ah, this is... This is too thin. So let's just take a piece of paper and make that a little bit thicker than the punch can do it. That's totally strange in my eyes, but it's re the reality. <laughs> oh. okay. That out carefully that looks a little bit junky but that's okay and now I am trying to cut a frame that is approximately the same size like the acetate and when I have that <laughs> I'm going to take this piece and I will go to my sewing machine now and now I'm doing the following thing. I will put the acetate filled with the seagrass on top of this black and white layer. And then I will take my little ring here and I will place that on top and I will sew over this ring. That means that the acetate in this area will be closed with this ring. Whew. That was one of those moments where I thought it's good that you can't see what I'm doing on my sewing machine. <laughs> this was really hard. And as you can see, I had to uh, put another frame here around this because this material from this paper bag was just too flimsy to sew over it. I've made a little mess here and this looks... Uh, a little bit strange now but I think I like this layered effect here and I'm just trying to grunge that up a little bit so that it looks like we had planned it in the very beginning <laughs> exactly like this <laughs> and now we can take our seahorse and I want to put the seahorse around here like this. And then I have this little die cut here and I think this looks really cool in combination with the seahorse and also with this black thread that we have here. And then I thought about adding a little quote and since we have this word here shown through this hole I have searched and I found this <laughs> isn't this just cool uh, I mean that's that matches the other page so well and I want to put that here just like this and since this area and this area here behind the banner is so glossy and you know this special shiny thingy i want to add a little bit of this snowfall grid paste through this stencil Um, and 
of course <laughs> don't miss that Louise I want to add this little thingy here that Barbara has sent with the seagrass itself and I thought why not making um, another layer here mm, or perhaps a little bit lower like this so here I can read it a little bit and when I now flip ooh, I should remember the position uh, when I now hold that here in place like this and I open that up then I can take this little paper clip that she has attached there and can use that to attach that to my page like this so that means when I flip up the banner then I can read this and in this case it's like another layer of the banner do you know what i mean <laughs> so that's that um i think we are going to need some white splatters here as well do you like this crazy effect with the embossing powder as much as i do but perhaps you don't have the time or you don't have embossing powder to do that by yourself then i have a little surprise for you I have made a freebie with the help of this crazy shaped ocean thingy at my desk. You can find a digital version of this background that I have created with the embossing powder as a freebie at my website. Please feel free to download that and use that for your own ephemera creations. The link to my website and this freebie is down below in the description box. Have fun with that! <sighs> So this is my project for today and my idea for today's prompt and if you want to see another idea on today's prompt then please visit Barbara's channel. She has a video about today's prompt as well with another idea for another piece of ephemera. If you want to check that out the link to her channel is down below in the description box. Thank you very much for watching and see you tomorrow with another prompt from our list and with another idea for your own ephemera for your junk journal. See you!